Hello beautiful folks, this is again Ashish from Ashish Creation. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace your sky in Photoshop. First of all, just we are gonna using in Luminar 4 that is a plugin which comes uh, you can just download it or purchase from the Luminar website. All you gonna do is install it to the Lightroom or uh, sorry Photoshop and just go to the filter and select the Luminar and from here you can just change any of the guys as you can see AI sky replacement technique is literally so freaking amazing it not only changes the skull but it actually you know changes the tone also according to the sky whichever you are adding suppose if you add a sunset or dramatic kind of uh, you know uh, the sky then it will also turn your color effect also according to that sky you know kind of moody or cloudy or whatever sunset type kind of look it will turn as you can see you can see a lot of skies options over here so you can just replace any of the sky in photoshop and see you can see the difference if you want to create a night portrait then you can use the starry, starry night you know there are already they have given a lot of galaxy kind of stars and like of you know night effect so you can use them in your editing game if you wanted to make a cloudy or sunset photo or you can even use the manual sky if you have downloaded or you have your own sky then you can just click on the load custom sky and you can just apply those image in this sky and it will just blend it very perfectly so when you are satisfied you can just hit ok and you are done so as you can see this luminar tool is literally so amazing and has many other options to you know color grade or edit or retouch the portrait and a lot of options are also available with this luminar tool so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos and presets like this for you guys for free also visit our website and just follow me on instagram just type ashley creation so guys see you in the next tutorial